this is the only video you need to watch if you want to elevate your video editing game hi there so sometimes last week i made a video on how to create a fake realistic youtube background using cap cuts using just the cap cut app and that video is actually doing numbers that actually tells me that a lot of people are actually interested in learning things like this or doing things like this for themselves and since i'm very knowledgeable in this field i thought to myself why not share i do not outsource my addicting i do all of my addicting myself and sometimes i try to keep it simple sometimes i just go beyond it depends on the kind of video i mean so if you follow through any of my tutorials before one thing you get to understand is that i try as much as possible to make every of my video every of my tutorials very cohesive so that you can understand better and everything just becomes easy for you as a matter of fact i have received countless of positive comments amazing positive comments on my teaching skills people telling me that they love how i teach and all of that i love you guys so much thank you for dropping nice comments thank you for always doing that now to the main topic the reason why we are all here how to edit your videos or your youtube videos using the cap cut app now one thing i would love you to do for me is to get a piece of paper to be able to take notes as you go along with this video or if you have another device with you apart from the one you're watching me with please download the CapCut app or if you already have the CapCut app then good just follow through this tutorial so that way it can be more easier for you to understand can I show my love for you? welcome back again my name is Cynthia Patrick if this is the first time seeing me and today we are talking about how to edit your videos using the CapCut app for the people who do not know what CapCut is well CapCut is a software editing app that allows you to do all sort of editing using your PC or your phone or whatever device you have one thing I love about CapCut app is that it just gets the job done and it's so easy to understand I mean this is not sponsored by the way CapCut in case you see this video sponsor me and I'll make more videos anyway so I love CapCut because you can literally do a whole lot, a whole lot for free, for free, for free guys. So if you've been sleeping on this app, guys, wake up, wake up, wake up right now and jump on it. If you do not have the CapCut app on your phone, don't just continue watching this video. Pause this video, go to your app store or your play store and download the CapCut app. It's available on iOS and Android. So download it right now before you continue watching this video. Once you've installed the app, open it up and let's dive into the world of video editing so before we start editing i'm sure you already have your raw clips your raw footage that you want to work with just like i do have mine these are my raw footage so this is the video we're going to be working with today so get your video ready so now you've downloaded your CapCut app and you already have your raw footage ready to edit let me quickly point out something to you guys i most of the times i love to edit with my phone and this is because it allows me to just edit my videos on a go like when i'm not Home, i can see if i'm in the bank for instance or i'm at the shopping mall or at a friend's place or on transit going to somewhere or wherever i can still be working on my videos so that way i don't have to like drag my laptop around with me to everywhere i'm going to just because i have a video to edit or it doesn't limit my movement so yes this tutorial is going to be a phone tutorial but not to worry you can use every tutorial on this video for your pc if you want to edit with your laptop it's all the same thing it's all the same tutorial also guys hold on a bit one thing i've understood or i've gotten to understand is that a lot of people love to skip videos like when you're watching this video you'll be like oh my god when, when is she going to talk about how to edit when is she going to talk about this and that you just skip to the parts that you want to skip to then after skipping you now come and drop a comment on my comment section and say oh i lost you when you say that that, that. i did not get you when you say well how did you say you oh please when it comes to my tutorials my video editing tutorials or any other tutorials please do not skip any part because there is nothing i have said from the beginning of this video up to you now that is not important or essential for this process of video editing so please pay detailed attention okay all right so now you have your raw footage and you have the cap cut ad you have the CapCut app the first thing you want to do is what i call importing and organizing footage what i mean by important is that now you have your videos on your phone it's time to import them into the CapCut app and for the organizing footage once it's imported inside the CapCut app it's time to now organize the footage don't worry i'm gonna explain i'm here for you so now head over to your CapCut app and once it's open you'll see a plus sign 
broadly in front of you saying new project click on it and select the videos you want to import into your project now after selecting all your raw footage that you want to work with kindly click on the add button to import everything into the app and there you have it all the videos that we're working with have been imported into our app but along the line if you still decide that you want to add in more clips into the already imported videos that's fine just scroll over to the end and click on the plus sign again or if you want to add the clips or image in the middle or at a certain place just scroll over to where you want it to be and click on the plus sign all right so now you've imported and organized your footage according to how you like it the next thing we are going to be doing is cut and trim cutting and trimming what do i mean by this you're going to be cutting out you know when we make videos or right now as i'm making this video i'm going to that some mistakes i'm going to be making or sometimes i'm going to pause for a bit to think about what i'm going to say all those pauses all those mistakes and gibberish we need to cut them out because they are not essential for the videos so we're going to be cutting out unessential um video footage from the videos that we have shot that's what i mean by cutting and trimming we'll cut them and we'll trim the ones that we have to trim okay let's just get into the CapCut app let me explain better so now while editing your video when you play your video in the CapCut app there are some parts you don't like either those places where you made a mistake while talking or when you startled or whatever all i know is that you don't just like that part and you want to do away with those unwanted parts so you click on it immediately you click on the clip and then you see an option down below here saying split you click on the split option and it splits into two and then you click the delete um, button right over here and it's gone now you want to do this throughout the whole process of the whole video removing all unwanted footages so that you can have a more cohesive clips to work with CapCut offers you frame by frame editing allowing you to make those perfect cuts so make use of it cut away those unwanted clips from your videos all right so now we've cut and we've trimmed all our footage the next step is going to be to add transitions and effects my favorite part because it just have a way of making your videos look more interesting and engaging if there is one thing i love about CapCut is the fact that it has numerous numbers of transitions and a whole lot of effects in order for you to make your videos flow seamlessly i love to add a little bit of transitions and effects in some of my videos it depends on some kind of videos like this sit down videos i don't really need a lot of transitions for it so i just add bare minimum and this is because it just helps the whole rhythm of the video and it makes everything cool enough to sustain attention when the audience is watching don't worry i'm gonna show you what all of that looks like but if you're still watching up to this point and you're getting value out of this video so far please i would want you to just take out one second of your time to just give this video a thumbs up leave a sweet comment and subscribe if you haven't because this is the only video you will need to watch if you want to level up your video editing game so where are we we're talking about how to add transitions and effect right we've talked about importing and organizing your footage and i hope you really understand that part and we've talked about how to cut and trim so now we're talking about transitions and effects now let's head over to the CapCut app so when it comes to transitions you see this white line demarcation right over here yes you would have to click on it and after clicking on it you're going to see various options of transitions from overlay to camera to blur to a whole lot different types of transitions so just play around with it look for the one that suits your video the best and add it to your video same thing for the video effect all you have to do is to click on effect then you have a whole lot you have trending you have opening and closing you can zoom you can not zoom whatever you want you just play around with it you have hello blur over there and a whole lot basically so play around with the effect and you'll find something good for your video so like you've seen already CapCut offers you varieties of cool transitions and effects that you could choose from so just keep on experimenting and find the ones that fit your video style now let's play around with this CapCut app let me show you guys some things here all right so from this from the beginning here we have edit which i already showed you guys where we have the splits the animation and all of that and um we have audio so capcut allows you to actually add your audio you can extract audio from an already existing audio or you can make use of the one inside the app and we have stuff like sounds and all of that that you can add to your video to just make it more enticing and we also have um effect you can choose effect just like this mm -hmm. so you can choose effects for your videos 
to make everything is just to spice up your video then after audio you see here we have test and this test you can either add test or you can choose from the test template and you can also generate um captions like auto captions when you're talking and the test just appears and in this test section we have what we call font style effect animations and bubble so this font allows you to just choose what kind of test how you want your test to appear in what shape and all of that then after the test we have overlay overlay allows you to add another picture or video on top of your already existing video then we have ratio the aspect ratio where you can either choose your video to be in tiktok size or instagram size or youtube size it depends on the dimension that you're shooting and for what app that you're shooting for then we have filters here so you can choose from capcut has a lot of filters so you can choose from so you can choose any type of filter that you want or you can either edit them edit your video yourself by clicking on adjust then you have um a lot of options here like brightness contract saturation exposure sharpen and a whole lot after filter we have canvas canvas is where i taught you guys the last time on how to create a fake background like if you want to use another background for your video you can either choose um color you can work with color or import an already existing background or you can choose to blur the video okay guys i'm going to be explaining this in the part two of this video so if you want a part two of this video i will go more detailed on these options that i just provided right now so if you want a part two of this video leave a comment in the comment section saying part two needed then i will create a part two version of how to edit your videos using the CapCut app all right guys now once you've done with all of this it's time for fine tuning and exporting once you're satisfied with your edits you've done your cut and trim you've added your music you've done your effect you've done everything that you need to do it's time to fine tune your video what do i mean by fine tuning for example this is the raw footage of this video this is how it looks like without any fine tuning or anything now this is what it looks like after i am done fine tuning my video Ta -da! What do you think <laughs> it makes a huge difference right even if not so much difference but there is a difference from this and this mm -hmm. so CapCut provides advanced editing tools such as color correction cropping and adjusting aspect ratio so guys i already explained earlier for how i achieved this color correction i said in case you don't want to use your filter you can just edit the videos yourself so that's what i did here i clicked on adjust then i um, increased my brightness my contrast and my saturations and i also increased my sharpen so that the video can be more sharp then i just played around with the editing features inside of this app to see which color correction works best for my background and my video and that's just how i was able to achieve this color correction finally everything now looks perfect right if your video is not looking perfect already or if it's not looking mm, go back and we watch this video start from beginning okay and pay attention this time so well, now we are done with all of the editing and everything it is time to hit that export button so once you're done editing your videos CapCut offers you various export options so you can choose to either export in 4k resolution or the normal resolution depends on you and voila your video is exporting and ready to be imported into your gallery all right guys so i believe that i have done my best when it comes to showing you how to edit showing you the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to edit your videos using the CapCut app please just take your time rewatch the video as much just rewind back rewind forward rewind anyhow you want it and we watch as much as you can i am very very sure that you will get it i am very sure you're going to elevate your addicting game just believe in yourself and practice 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 like they say practice makes perfect just play around with the app when you have time that way you get everything you get used to everything in no time that was how i actually learned how to addict whenever i have like spare time on my hand i just go over to the app and just try to edit or play around with the app i got to see some things that i wasn't even seeing and i got to like learn so many things like play around with so many futures and all of that and before you know it i was used to it i started creating things from my head with the app so just play around with the app all right again so if you think i have done my best so far and you've gotten you have gotten value out of this video so far 
please it is time to reward me yes by rewarding me i mean giving me a massive thumbs up liking this video leave us with comments and make sure to subscribe if you haven't until next time bye bye